Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I want to say first off, pardon the uh, video here, it's not going to be the best. The angle I'm in, because of where the tank is located, is difficult. So, without uh, any further ado, uh, this is the female here, and you can see her fry. They're about four days old now. And there's probably about a hundred of them in there. There they are swimming around. I'm always happy when they breed. I totally changed this tank around and within like two days they bred. Um, I basically threw in a bunch of plants. Just really, you know, uh, low maintenance. Um, Java fern and some Amazon swords. Nothing fancy. The tank is for them as it always has been. I do enjoy keeping this fish and I do enjoy breeding them. Um, and then there's the male in the back. So if you can see him. There he is. I don't want to spook him too much. He just sits out over here because the fry are on the other side now. And if you know this fish, they sort of keep their distance once the fry are with the females. I'm going to try and remove them, the fry, but not for a while. It's going to probably be a few weeks. A lot of them will survive, probably at least 50. Uh, maybe more. But, um,. Anyway, um, so that's what's going on in here, and I'm really happy with this tank. I like the simplicity of it um, And I'm probably going to just do um, not the same thing, but I'm I'm not going to take out the dirt in here because I don't need to right now But I am just going to throw in plants like in this other tank over here And I do have another a uh, breeding pair of Epistogramma cockatoides in here, same, triple flash. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to quickly share something here. Um, I uh, upgraded my uh, RODI system here. Uh, just decided to install an automatic um, shut off a uh, little floating valve, so it's really handy. Pretty simple. I like this little RODI buddy. I've had it for probably I don't know, maybe over a year, and it didn't take too much to install this. And what's so cool about it is um, this polyurethane tubing is so easy and so strong. Um, but you know, I just put in a bunch of T connectors and some little ball valves, and um, you know, um, I now I can flush it if I need to. Um, and this right now is running out through my garage and onto my lawn and then one into another planter so anyway that's that and that was really easy and then just let me share my other tank in here with you guys I'm not a big video editor so I just want to kind of share the tank um, but I threw in some more really low maintenance plants some more java fern and um, uh, I find that the plants grow a lot better if you just keep them in the peat moss and the little pots and then later on if you want um, you know you can just put them in something like a little terracotta and try to doctor them up and make them look better in terms of the aesthetics but um, eh, all my Amazon swords that I got that I ordered that you know I tried to replant they just I don't know they're, they're not doing too good and um, yeah, it's just more successful this way. The only thing that I got to really work out is, um, like, basically, let's see, yeah, this one strand of, um, jungle valve right here, and I mean, it's, it's actually, it's, it's hanging on, believe it or not, but, um, I really like this tank here. It's not the most amazing looking tank. Um, I mean, it doesn't even have any substrate, but I like that. Um, that's just my preference, and it's easy. And the fish don't care. I mean, not really. Um, maybe some sand would be the preference for 
the um, dwarf cichlids in here, but you know, no biggie. Um, I'm really liking my golden uh, rose lines here. You can see them. There's one right back there. It's so funny. This one rose line, he thinks he's a golden algae eater, like these. And so, it's just this one. Um, it's funny the way he swims. So, like, uh, they typically, um, they school, believe it or not, with the other denison barbs, the rose lines. They all, you know, they don't look exactly the same, but they all school together. Um, because they are essentially the same species, just a different color. But I, I personally, I think these fish look even better. They are just so cool looking. And they're so hard to find. I mean, I've never seen them before at another fish store. And I think I've mentioned it before in a previous video, but even just the smaller one is like a $40, $50 fish. But, um, yeah, so there's this guy back there who now thinks he's a golden algae eater. But he's another one of my golden rose lines. Huh. So, I don't know, maybe he's just going through a phase, but he just hangs out like that and just kind of swims by himself. Uh, he's perfectly healthy, though, and as soon as I put food in there, he's a voracious feeder. So... Yep, everything's going along pretty well. Um, one of my uh, um, dwarf cichlids I found uh, on the bottom here. I guess there are some territorial issues going on. And anybody who knows dwarf cichlids realizes they are um, very territorial sometimes. Especially the Bolivian rams. I have three in here now. I used to have four. They're one of my favorite fish. Um, but yeah, they're kind of just hanging out over here now. Let's see. There's... Mm, funny, I can see my. Um, I can see someone's tail right there. <laughs> Funny. I'm sorry about the glare. I do believe that is a loach. Yes, I have about four or five zebra loaches in here. And another awesome fish. I think they are so cool. I've had them now for about, um, I don't know, maybe about a year. No, longer than that. They always hang out down here. Yeah, that's definitely a loach in that piece of wood over there. And there's another one right there. Just hanging out. It's a golden zebra loach. He's about, he's about two years old. Yep, they just hang out down there. Really a beautiful fish, in my opinion, or loach. The colors are amazing. Sorry about the glare. And then I'll just uh, wrap everything up here. Um, all right, say hi, Picklehead. This is Picklehead, my Oscar. I don't, I don't even remember how old he is. I have to look at some emails, maybe four or five. He's about a foot long. He's such a cool fish. He's like our, our family pet, like our, our puppy. Hey boy. Hey boy. 
very responsive to to sounds to you know if you say hi it gets all excited comes right up to the tank yeah, he's really a beautiful fish still happy in here Ooh, got some food for you yeah All right, everybody. I just wanted to let this roll so I could share my fish room. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.